Assalamu alaikum today I am going to discuss a case of a CTR adjustment that I did this patient came to me with the dislocated IOL with CTR and dislocated bag so I've decided to fixate the CTR to the sclera and inferiorly the patient who had been rendered aphakic partially aphakic due to the subluxated lens so I've decided to take up this case I make a small partial thickness scleral groove 2 mm from the limbus where I plan to bury the knot of the suture which will be which will be tied to the CTR I make a paracentesis 180 degrees opposite to the scleral incision that I've made the scleral groove that I've made and now I fill up the anterior chamber with a dispersive viscoelastic now I take a 26 gauge needle <coughs> I will pass this 26 gauge needle behind the iris I have to make a small puncture in the capsular equator however since the bag is fibrosed I am not afraid of tearing it this 26 k needle is actually beneath the capsular axis take a 10 0 straight needle 10 0 proline straight needle and op please observe the direction of the bevel of the 10 0 needle if the bevel is sideways it will be difficult to thread thread the needle into the 26 gauge needle bore now I have changed the direction of the 10 0 straight needle and please observe that it is most easily threaded into the 26 gauge needle when the bevel is downwards the bevel of the 10 0 straight needle if the bevel is sideways it will be difficult to thread into the 26 gauge needle so I pass one thread behind the CTR and my plan is to pass another thread of this double arm 10 0 proline suture above the CTR so that it can pull the CTR inferiorly now please observe that the blood at the paracentesis is hindering my view so it will be difficult to pass the 10 0 needle through it this will have consequences in the surgery which will result in this 10 minutes surgery being extended to 30 minutes as you will see later on in this video now I pass the 26 k needle above the CTR and I pa take the 10 0 needle and I pass it through the paracentesis a little bit blindly and at this point I do not note the mistake I've made I thread it carefully turn it down the bevel thread it into the I am facing difficulty because the bevel is not downwards however I am successful in threading the 26 gauge needle with a 10 0 straight needle and now please observe as I pull the loop here I have accidentally the second 10 0 needle accidentally took a bite of the corneal stroma and now the loop is stuck in the corneal stroma and now after many maneuvers it is very difficult for me to pull it out of this now in retrospect I could have tried different ways of retrieving this loop for example I could have pulled the loop out of the eye and pulled another loop of the second suture cut it and tied both the ends after releasing it from the stroma but at this point that idea did not come to mind only in retrospect I realized that I could also have saved these threads however I have now cut them and I pulled them and I decide to pass another a fresh 
डबल आर्म सूचर नाउ बींग केयरफुल ऑफ अवॉइडिंग पेनीट्रेटिंग द कॉनियल स्ट्रोमा This is a very simple mistake. However, as you saw, it can complicate complicate a surgery. A ten minute surgery was prolonged to a thirty minute surgery. So, please avoid this complication if you try this wonderful technique. Now, pull both of the sutures. Now, I. pray that this time i have not i have not pasted taken a bite of the colon stroma and as i pull on both the loops please note the loop passing through and here now i breathe a sigh of relief i tie the two ends of the double arm needle after cutting the needle after adjustment i have to make sure that i do not tie them too tightly because it might tear the capsule back however the capsule the lens capsule complex is now partially centered in retrospect if i had made this clear groove more temporally it would have done an even more better job but now i think at this point this is good enough i tie the two sutures and after confirming and washing out the ovd i close the case and i also have a post operative picture of this young patient that it he was a 24 year old male and he was absolutely delighted after the operation thank you so much for watching please comment and give suggestions jazakallah